Yo, what's going on everyone? It's around name 951 And I'm here to bring you another um, tips and guides video. So, uh, uh, I was online yesterday on my phone, you know, searching up for some figures because I uh, got some money. And I was like, well, instead of buying some super rare figures, I'm going to see if I get some duplicate figures for some good prices. <clears throat> and um, there is one site that you guys may know of um you know everyone probably uses it some people probably love it so it's going to be like a little tutorial so what we're going to do is open our browser since i have my browser open my google chrome first shop we're going to go to <clears throat> of course is our favorite amazon so amazon is actually not a bad place to look for msias i haven't really bought from them at least MSIA wise, I, I mean, I've bought from Amazon like um stuff for my PSP. Um, I think I bought like a, maybe um like maybe a charger or something, but like <clears throat> never any action figures from there. Oh, uh, you know, I might have to take that back. I might have bought one. I can't remember. Well, anyway, I was uh, um, I was on Amazon, you know, and uh, I was searching up MSN action, and uh, we'll do that real quick, and uh. I was looking through and if you want to find reasonably priced Japanese figures Amazon is definitely the way to go you'll find a lot more figures a lot more affordable like check this out Garmazabi Zaku 2 um, I think that's free shipping they're selling it for $31 in free shipping I mean this figure on eBay is tough to find and then when you do find it it, it could go easily for um like 40 bucks and up this was a figure I was going to buy. This is the Goof Custom Japanese version, but uh, I really didn't want to buy it because I'm not a big fan of the the Goof Custom. But as you can see, look at that, twenty three fifty five and free shipping. Now the thing is, the free shipping is gonna be like basic, super basic, no in, no insurance, uh, no tracking <clears throat> um, on the figure, so uh, it's a little iffy. But I've done that with other um, items on uh, on Amazon, like like one of my PSP cases um, came from I think it was Japan, and it had no ship. I mean, no tracking or insurance. And uh, the first time it never arrived. What well, did it? Yeah, I think the first time it never arrived. Or I can't remember. I think it did arrive, but it just arrived super late. But I like it, it was like over a month, and I contacted the seller, and he sent it real quick EMS shipping, so it did get to me. But um, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, it just depends. You could go free shipping, and uh, it, it usually takes around uh two weeks to a month. It depends. Um, like uh, to be safe, I'll say like three weeks to a month to get uh shipping overseas. Just as Japan or China or something like that, with uh, no uh, EMS, you know, um, shipping. So I mean, as you can see, price is really good. But if you guys don't want to wait, um, I think shipping is going to cost you like extra ten bucks, which isn't bad. But um, you know, just twenty three fifty five is a deal right there. So that's one there. I'll show you some of the ones I picked up, but I'll just give you a little look through. And again, this is um. This is like if you're looking for Japanese figures or just some really cheap MSIA because if you find any American release figures on here, the prices are jacked up because I think the problem is American release MSIAs are a lot harder to find brand new in box and uh, they're s for some collectors they're more sought after for others you know it's like oh I love the Japanese more than the American release you know so it's like it's a half and half but as you can see let's check this out this is um. A Toy Dreams project, uh, super rare Japanese release of the Mermaid Gundam and Nether Gundam as a set. And that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I seen one on I seen two on eBay. The last one I saw on eBay was like fifty bucks, so this one's a dollar ninety nine. Might be from the same seller, just uh, um, I don't know, just uh, maybe Amazon lets them keep it on here for cheaper or something. I'm not sure how Amazon works as a selling system, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure they might do um, service charge for using their site, but I'm not sure. Even check this out, a G04, 30 bucks, I mean, that's not bad, free shipping. And you can see, if, if you use your your um, your laptop or desktop, 
Uh, it's a lot nicer when searching, you know, you just look at the price, you go over here, free shipping. Um, if not, usually it'll tell you that uh, it's either covered by Prime if you spend so much money on a figure or something like that. But I mean, some of these figures you can find on eBay. Um, some of them might be a little bit more expensive, like this gym head or gym um, head of the ARC-79. 33 is not bad. I think it's a lot cheaper on here than it is on eBay. I see them going for like 40, 45. Um, Robert Gilliam's um, Zaku 2 customized uh, Dengeki Hyper Hobby or whatever version. Uh, that's going for 60 bucks free shipping, but I know Red Zeton for a fact sells that figure and he sells it a lot. Um, here's that pink Zaku 2 version 2 of uh, Zaku. 30 bucks free shipping. So, I mean, there's a lot of figures on here. Um, the two figures I'll show you that I got. You just see what else. Like, oh, yeah, I was going to say, if you guys are looking for some Japanese Zakus, definitely look on Amazon. There is some good deals. Like, right here, 22 bucks free shipping for a Zaku. And the thing is also that they have quantities. So, like, if, you, if you're trying to get, like, a, a three set of Zaku, you know, you... Pay 60 bucks, there you go, three Zakus, and um, should be there in a month. So, I, I like the I like Amazon, because they have a lot of variety, even though most of it is, um, most of it is a lot of Japanese figures. I mean, check that out. How often do you see a, uh, a Char Anzibol's Dom? This, this is, like, pretty rare. There's, they're, um, offering 57 with free shipping. Not bad. Um, I have not yet to see a Char's Galgoog Black Tri-Stars, you know, customized. Um, I, I'm hoping to find one of those on here one day. Just pop up out of the blue. But yeah, I mean, you don't see this very often. Even uh, Garmazabi's Zaku 2 version 1, 44 bucks, free shipping. So, I mean, they have a lot of uh, lot to offer. The figures I picked up were, um, I'll show you. Imis, I think it was Camphor. I picked up a Camphor and a Johnny Riddens Galgu. I've been looking for a Johnny Riddens Galgu, but uh, right now they're just a little pricey. Not pricey, but like I don't want to spend 40 bucks on a figure. So I'm just not feeling it. Oh, let's check this. Checking out this Camphor for 20 bucks. I don't think it has free shipping though. But yeah, I mean, there is definitely some good deals you could find on Amazon. It's just you got to kind of search for them a little bit. You got to kind of reword what you're looking for. Okay, here it is. A Japanese release camphor, MS, whatever. And we'll take a better look at it. As you can see, there's the price, $23.55 and free shipping. And here's the figure. Let's see here can't really zoom in but as you, as you can see it's the Japanese camphor if you guys haven't seen a Japanese camphor they're really awesome I love the color it's a lot it's a lot more darker true blue to the show than than the American release camphor how it's like kind of a, a lightish blue and if you compare it to other sellers I mean here's here's another camphor basically the same one they just rewarded the, um, what it was and they're asking 50 bucks almost so I mean uh, looking for figures such as these takes a little bit more typing in different things and um, stuff stuff with, uh, around that nature and uh, you know you just that's how it is you know I mean usually when I go on Amazon I search up MS in action no Gundam just MS in action see what comes up they maybe put Gundam MS in action then I put Gundam MSIA and another thing of course which um, usually does bring up some other searches is a uh, um, Gundam M I A and that brings up a couple things um, not very many but a couple I mean look at this um, Shimatsu Naga Zaku 2 version 1 came up for 21 bucks free shipping you got a wing this, this is a wing uh, Gundam version 2 G3 Psycho Gundam Transformable mo Mobile Armor. There's actually a decently priced Psycho Gundam on here. Um, the Psycho Gundam MSIA is very expensive. It's like supposedly the second Holy Grail to MSIA is what is what I've heard. But um, it's I think it's better than the 
Dendrobium Stamen, but uh, I'm not too sure. So I'll just check that up real quick. And as you can see, they have a couple results here. Though the $55 one's a model kit. Um, there is one for 80 bucks. I remember 89 free shipping. It's probably on the next page. Yeah, as you can see, these are the fixed figuration and the the model kits. And then that's not it. Where is it? it might have sold actually. I don't know. I'll search it up again just to make sure. Yeah, I don't see it, so let me reword it because I, I didn't put MSI, so let me. Oops. Psycho. But yeah, guys, uh, this is just one of the sites I wanted to show you. This is if you're looking for um some really good priced um uh, Japanese release figures, like I said. I'm going to show you some American release, but... uh they are a lot more expensive all right so it might have sold because it's not coming up i saw one for like 89 bucks yesterday on here it was the msi so it might have sold so i just want to show you this real quick that there are um, american release figures on here but they are a lot more expensive and a lot tougher to find because uh you know they don't really have american release figures in japan so you know that's just that did i even type it in all right yeah, and there are, like I said, what the hell, man? There are some real um, rare figures that you can find on here, and I'll show you one of them. All right. So here we have the real type gun cannon, and that's a pretty rare figure. 48 bucks, brand new in box, but shipping is not free. There's three left in stock, and this is from a US seller. Um, it's kind of weird how you have to check the seller. Like, I think to do that, you have to uh, go to their name. And then from there, you can look at their feedback. And then you want to go to de detailed seller information. And I believe it'll tell you where they're shipping from. So they'll, they'll give you like a little background of this, uh, this, uh, what you call it, background of their site or like, uh, of themselves as a seller and then there's some feedback over here of some recent stuff I guess like people bought from them and then um it tells you shipping I'm trying to find where they're uh where they're located because it uh, I forgot how you do that um oh I think you go to about about okay yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, you kind of have to search around. But um, usually it'll tell you where the sellers are from. I'm pretty sure this is an American a seller in America. So I don't know. Yeah, so that was just one of the, the sites. Um, again, really good for looking for Japanese uh, figures for good prices. Um, for me, a good price for a Japanese figure brand new in box. $20 all day, you know, $20 free shipping. That's that's around the sweet spot for me buying a figure. If it's one I really want, um, like say Garmazabi Zaku 2, free shipping, 30 bucks, not bad. I think that's a steal right there. The Goof Custom, 23 bucks, free shipping. Um, Geo 4, definitely very affordable for its rarity. Um, yeah. All right, so that was the Amazon, guys. So next... If you guys are looking for um, rare, tough to find American release figures, this is a place to go. This is a uh, Ramos Toy Chest. All you gotta do is go into Google, type Ramos Toy Chest, or just type Ramo Toy Chest, and it'll come up. And you should get a place like this. And he has a uh, lots of stuff for sale. Um, one of his uh, what you call it? One of his sections. He has his own Gundam section. So uh, what you wanna do is just go there. And just basically browse around. I mean, he has a lot of figures, but the thing is, his prices are really um, kind of how can you say? Um, I guess like full blown retail. I would say maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so I'll I'll give you. I mean, he has a lot of figures. He has like 
he has a lot of MSIs, he has fixed figuration, he has, I don't think he has model kits, not very many. But he has a little bit of everything, but um, just to show you, I want to show you some of his uh, rare figures he has that you don't see every day on sale. So, as you can see here, he has a MS Mobile Suit MSML, he has a submarine GOG basically. And uh, you guys know how rare the submarine gog is, and obviously he knows how rare the submarine gog is because he wants a hundred and nine dollars. Now I have never bought from this seller before, but I plan on picking up a uh, a figure from him in the near future. So this is the submarine gog. He has pictures of it. Um, he has an email you can contact him at, and you can see he has better pictures. He does take really good pictures to show what you're getting, and um, definitely that's a sexy gog. I mean, I have mine, and man, I, I cringe every time I look at it. <laughs> um, you know, he has feedback. Uh, you can even calculate your shipping. Uh, he does do international, but I don't know how much it costs, so yeah. Um, so, uh, I, for this guy, you kind of have to search around. You could contact him and probably send him an offer. I'm not sure how much he would go or something but that's just one of the figures that's submarine gog he also has a um what was the other one shit can oh well let me just check it i mean he has some pretty rare figures honestly and um his prices are a little high but <clears throat> in the end it's probably worth it if you guys are like on the desperate search and um, the next one we're going to take a look at is the full armor Gundam. And this one is brand new in box. He wants $80 for it, not including shipping. You can see here's a better picture, and that thing looks just gorgeous. And, um, you know, 80, 80 bucks. He has one for 89 but I'm not sure why you want, why'd you want to get the 89 one. It's basically the same thing. Um, like I said... Very tough to find figure. American release, you know, almost non-existent now. Um, you know, you can find Japanese release for like around 60 bucks. But I, I think from what I've seen that the American release just looks far superior. Another one. Um, Aster. Yeah, he actually has a really tough to find figure. I mean, he has a lot of tough to find figures. Uh, but this one, I'm surprised he has it. And he's definitely charging an arm and a leg for it. Possibly even more. So as you can see, this is the Japanese... Oh, excuse me. I don't know why I said that. This is the Battle Scar uh, Astray Red Frame. I had this figure a while back. As you can see, he wants $350 for it. Now, if you're that desperate to get one, you know, this is <laughs> going to be your time to get one. Um... It's a very, I mean, you can't go wrong with it, but the price is definitely outrageous. Um, very nice figure, though. Appears to be brand new in box, just a little beat up. But yeah, guys, this is basically the, the point of this site is if you're really on a mission to find a certain MSIA, you'll most likely find it here, especially if it's a rare one. Um, I'm going to check one more. I'm not sure if he has this one, but I'm going to just check. Okay, so I, ch I checked up Goof Desert because uh, I'm not sure. But, I mean, if you guys, like I said, if you guys are looking for some pretty rare figures, hard to find, this is the place to go. Um, like I said, his prices are definitely full-blown retail. You're not really going to get any discounts here, but I, I could probably guarantee you you'll find the figure you're looking for. I mean, uh, he even has a... He even has a Battle Scarred Zaku one. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on it, but like, it's not it's not well priced enough where I want to buy it yet. So let me just put Scarred. All right, here it is. So he has one brand new, which he's selling for forty six. And one loose, which he's selling for thirty-seven. And I'll just show you guys both, so you guys know what's what's up here. So like I said, Balscar Zaku one. That's pretty tough to find as well. You don't see those very often. Brand new in box. It's quite a sight. 
you can see there got a really cool picture of it and uh unfortunately that's the only picture he has of it again he wants 46 bucks for this one um not including shipping for where i live i live in california and he's charging me like around 12 bucks for regular um ups parcel selects or i mean usps and then priority is like 16 bucks i think um so go back real quick and then here's the loose version can see here he has some pictures I'll scroll down very nice figure I mean they it just looks very awesome you can't go wrong with the battle scars locker one definitely a, uh, a not a common figure that comes up at all on eBay I've only seen it like maybe two times the one when I bought mine and then one that was loose but it didn't come with any accessories and uh, it's just a very nice figure I mean I, like I said, I haven't seen one in a while since I bought mine. So, if you guys are looking for super hard to find rare MSIA, rare most toy chest guys, if you're looking for a decently priced Japanese MSIA, I would definitely recommend Amazon, hands down. Um, I'll be doing some reviews soon. I, the reason I made this video is kind of share with you guys my my deals I found. I never showed you that Johnny Ridden right now, but I got mine for twenty bucks free shipping. I think there's one more up for like twenty one dollars free shipping. So if you guys are looking for I get, I get uh, excuse me again Japanese, MSI Amazon and super rare you know Ramos toy chest. Yeah, guys, uh, hopefully I'll post another video up today. Um, I'm cleaning up the Berserker Noble Gundam, and then I'm going to start on the uh, probably the GM Sniper and then the Desert Ground, and then those guys will be up for review. So I really hope this video helped you guys. Um, uh, please let me know, and uh, I'll be doing some more videos. So again, hope to see you in my next video, and thanks for watching, guys.